So have you ever been in that situation where while you're working on your vehicle and the car battery just goes flat and dead, now you can't finish your job? I have a solution for that. Let me show you. All right, so while over the Christmas break, SeaTech Canada reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to do like a product review in one of their chargers. At that time, I didn't really know what charger they're gonna send me and uh, I didn't know how to kind of tackle this uh, vlog here. I've always been a big fan of SeaTech. I've owned several of these. I've owned uh, obviously this one, MXS 5.0, and then I got the blue one, which is for lithium. Uh, the only thing with these things is it, it's a battery maintainer, conditioner, all-in-one charger. It takes a long time to charge your battery. I did a little bit of research on this bad boy because I didn't even really, didn't even know it, it existed. So I started looking into it trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this vlog, really what use is it to me. So I started looking into it for more information and then I realized this is like a, it's not a, it's an actual, it's a battery charger like on steroids. It's like the Arnold Schwarzenegger of uh, chargers. It can do regular lead acid, lithium. What else is it says? It's all in the back here, you guys. Uh, AGM, like just everything this one can do, but it can do it better. So let, let me open it up for you guys and let's get right into this box here. I'm just gonna move this aside. So inside, hopefully you guys can see here. Let me just tilt you guys up a little bit. There you go. Okay, so you get the manual, English and all that stuff. Then you get the unit itself. Let me just take it right out of here. Voila, brand new. This thing is beefy, huge cables, massive. So this one is the Pro 25S, like I said earlier. It has, obviously comes with the clamps that are fixed to the unit, not like this one. Really nice thick gauge, nice clamps like always. Because this is the Pro 25S, it's a shorter cable. I believe this is two meters. And you can get the Pro 25 SE, which is obviously just extended cables is what the E stands for. And that's six meters. But that's it. It's all in the box. Let's go try out this bad boy. All right. So let, let, me, just, uh, let me just set this up. Uh, we're, let me just move my seat out of the way here. We're in luck today because it says it can do, like I said, lithium, AGM, lead acid, so I do have a lead acid that is just totally dead, dead. And then I have a lithium that is dead. Uh, we're gonna try both of them to see which one works and which one doesn't. So let me just uh, move you guys over here. All right, let's just uh, plug this sucker in. So I plugged the uh, SeaTech charger already in and it's already in normal mode, which is this battery here. The thing with this, uh, this charger, it's pretty smart. It, it has a, a, a temperature sensor here that you just basically shove it in here on the terminal and it will tell you, or it will know when to regulate the voltage depending on the uh, uh, what do you call it, the uh, temperature, so that it doesn't uh, overheat or overcharge. Okay, so we're just gonna connect the positive, or is it the opposite? Whoa, who cares? At the end of the day, you know what? It's pretty smart. So it's detecting it. I think it's basically analyzing the battery to see if it's gonna take the charge. It's, this is, just like the, uh, the little one. Let me give it a few minutes. And apparently this is a smart charger, so it, you can do the re reverse polarity and it won't uh, affect the charger. Let's try it. This is, uh, <laughs> by the way, this is not my charger. Uh, no money has been exchanged. This is just a product that they sent me to do a review, an honest review, so I'm just giving you guys exactly how it is. So the damage is not my fault. It's not my fault. Ah, see? Yeah, had some faith in it. So basically you can't screw up the polarity. That's how smart the C-Tech is.
By the way, I think it, ha it has a it has a fan in here too, so that it doesn't uh, overheat. Not bad. Okay, so this is just pretty much a dead, dead battery. Like it's been dead for a long time. This battery came out of the S2K and we replaced it with the lithium battery. Unfortunately, the lithium battery is dead on that one too. So I don't know what it is. I think it's something wrong with the S2K that's just draining the battery. Either that or just I let it sit too long. Lithium batteries are pro supposedly like fantastic and not supposed to like drain. And this is dead. And then the one on the, the battery, the factory battery on the battery, uh, I'm gonna go get it. In the last vlog, I installed the SeaTech battery sensor. And it's been, that battery in the FL5 is, or the FL5 just drains it quickly. Uh, if I leave it for at least like a week, it will drop down to, I think almost like 60, between 65 to 70. It's, it's a quite significant drop for lead acid battery. So plug your batteries in, use the maintainer if you have one, um, because the SeaTech here, the Pro 25 is not a maintainer. So you have to get one of those to maintain it. This is for other purposes. So just keep that in mind. So like I said, the SeaTech Pro 25 S is a charger on steroids. So it'll, it'll give a constant rate of 14.4 volts at 25 amps. So it'll take a couple hours, a couple hours to fully charge a dead battery from like totally flat. Uh, so it's quick where the regular battery maintainers will take up to like almost a full two days, one day or two days, depends on how flat your battery is. So this is a lot quicker. So if you're in a hurry, this is the way to go. For guys that are in the shop that really need like the quick, quick charge, this is the one. It's like, it's like a super jolt. Okay, let's, uh, let's try it on the lithium battery over here. Let's just gonna move you guys over here. So this one is like totally dead, dead. My, it's pretty, my, it's like my bad. Let me see if I can crank it over. Just to show you guys in real time, this car is dead. Put the key in, not in one noise, dead. So there, right now I'm thinking this would be where the Pro 25 SE would come in handy because you have six meters of cable. See, six meters of cable from there all the way over here. We wouldn't have to uh, move it around, but now that it doesn't reach. If you're in a bind like this, then you need some extra length, the uh, Pro 25 SE would be the one for you. Plug the positive. Yeah, that extra, that extra length would be, be nice right now. Here we go. Let's go take a look. Let's change it to lithium. I don't know what the flashing means, but I think it's just reading the lithium battery right now. See, yeah. Here you go, you can hear the fan. So there's a built-in fan in here so that it doesn't overcharge. All right, for all you guys that want to geek out on this uh, battery charger and want to know more information on it, I'll put the link in the description below. Have all the information of what this charge is good for. But uh, just a little bit of information that, is, that I found. For lead acid batteries, this charger is good for batteries that are between 40 to 500 amp hours. And for lithium, it's 30 to, one, 30 to 450 amp hours. So anything smaller than that is probably not recommended. I don't know why, probably just overkill the battery. This is for batteries that are for situations that you want to get a battery charged up quickly. All right, so there's one feature that the SeaTech Pro 25S that would most likely benefit me in the shop here is the supply mode. I work on a lot of vehicles that we need the auxiliary on and it just drains the battery. And a lot of times if the battery is dead and we have to boost it. Boosting the battery is not really recommended because it's just jolting the system and the battery. And with the new vehicles these days, there's a lot of sensors that can be damaged and can go wrong. So this supply mode should come in handy. So the S2K is actually dead right now. It has no juice. So let's go and uh, switch it to the supply mode. Let's go in the car. Let's see if it has any juice because earlier there was no battery at all. So I'm thinking like if you go to the car shows and stuff and you turn on all your like underglow, your lights and on display, that will most likely drain your battery and you're gonna have a problem getting home. But, uh, oh, I already see the lights are on. This is just a supply mode, it's not a boost, okay, you guys? So, yes, everything works. Earlier, we didn't have any juice at all. Let's turn this off here. So, that's another feature that I would 
software guys that are running shops and stuff. That supply mode is fantastic. When I was doing my research, they said don't do it while doing programming and stuff. But I honestly, I would trust it enough. I would, I would run it because what else are you going to do? Will it replace the, like those big bulky chargers? This you might, you might need, but I wouldn't bring that to your car show. I would just bring this. It's just more compact. Just plug it in and then plug it in to your battery and then you can run the lights all day long, have no issues. This is just pretty much getting replaced by this. Yeah, I would just use that because if you use that, you won't need this. And then you can condition it too. That's the nice thing about this, you guys. And even though this is more expensive than this sucker, but this is way, way cheaper than this and more practical, you guys. So I found a use for this. So when I'm, I'm tinting windows and stuff, or I'm working on a car that I need the power on, that is the way to go, you guys. All right, so at first I didn't know if I had any like use for the, the Pro 25S, but now, now that I put that supply mode, fantastic. But before I, let me just, before I recap on the, the Pro 25S, will it replace this? Not really, because you need you still need this for long-term storage. If you're uh, unless you're one one of those guys where you unplug the battery, charge the battery full, and then unplug it, and then okay, maybe not. You you might not need it. But if you're one of those guys that don't have access to the battery, let's say like um, GTR, BMW, because the battery is hard to get to, you want to just plug this in over time and just let it maintain and charge over the winter months. But if you're a guy that can just, just unplug it, just use one of these suckers, just charge it up full and then unplug it. When I received this, I was just wondering like, what am I gonna do with this thing? Like what's, what can be useful? And then I found that the supply mode is gonna be the most useful for me. And it's gonna be, cause it's gonna replace that sucker. And there's no need to like boost your car cause their battery's not gonna be dead anymore, right? Any car that you're working on because of the supply mode. Uh, realistically, you know, I wouldn't, gar I wouldn't garbage it, but you can trust the SeaTac. It's going to be really useful for car shows because a lot of guys like to open the doors, the, the lights are going to be on or turn on their, if you're running underglow, if you're having any kind of lights that are flashing and stuff, or you're running a stereo, this will save you because you're going to plug it in turn on the supply mode and you can run it all day long. The only drawback is you have to find a power supply to supply the SeaTac. So you gotta have access to like an extension cord somewhere. There's no need to ask for a boost or anything, any sort like that. Cause sometimes a lot of guys who go to the car shows or girls, they don't carry a booster cable cause it just takes up too much room in their show, uh, in their trunk or they just want clutter in their trunk cause a lot of them show off the trunk space too, how clean their cars are. So this is gonna be a game changer. I know it's been around for a long time. I didn't even know about it. So here you go. SeaTech Pro 25S. And if you want the extended cord, Pro 25S E. If you want the convenience, get that one. But for me, this is more than enough, you guys. More than enough. Very smart. You can't screw it up. You can just plug it in, lights up red. So you're never gonna screw up your battery. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Thank you, SeaTech Canada, for uh, sending us out this beautiful, Charger of theirs, fantastic. Go get it, go get one, you guys. Yeah, see you guys in next week's vlog. See ya. Okay, wait, 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 you guys. So earlier I said you need a power supply to supply the SeaTac Pro 25S. Well, there is one more coming out. I haven't had it yet. It's on its way. It's called the CS Free from SeaTac. If you don't know what it is, go check it out. It is a game changer, especially for guys there outdoors. Check it out. See you guys next week.